Burning Eyes Entertainment presents The H Guys in Pub Encounter. Just what on earth was going on? The two of us ran together, finally rushing into my house, grasping for breath. Mamoru's shoulders ha heaved as he stared out through the curtains. Scary look on his eyes. I'm not as young as I used to be. Hmm. Oh, that's you. Um, should I turn on the lights? No. Can you wait just a little longer? The dark room was burning with tension. Uh, um. Hmm. Frightened by the silence, I started to speak, but quickly bit back my words. Arr. Mamoru was giving off a vibe that said no talking was allowed. The air was stuffy. I remember that weak, bitter smile on Mamoru's face in the park. If we couldn't talk, I at least wanted to be close to him. I quietly sidled up close to Mamoru's back. His broad back shuddered for a second and then stopped the only motion the rhythm of his breath. What's wrong? Mamoru asked without turning around as I clung onto his back. Like a, like a baby gorilla onto its mother. Yep. Are you hungry? I purposely asked an irrelevant question. I couldn't let the tense atmosphere get to me, too. Go, go, go. Can't make anything great, but I could at least make something to thank you for the wine. The one you bought, what was it called? It was a famous wine, I remember. Just wanted him to smile and laugh like usual, I continued chattering. What? Sacred white from Rome? I don't know. Huh? Sandlan what? Sandlan you? Run, run, run. Run, you? I found what that was, you know what that What's is? What's a meme? It's a meme. It's a Ronald McDonald in Japan meme. Oh, shh. I, I linked it in that video. Ah. Uh, that's the name of the one. When I looked up at Mamoru and he turned around, I met with his brilliant gaze. He gave a short smile and stroked my head. So I'm going to not only get to stay at your house, but get a home-cooked meal as well? Yeah, last meal. I'm writing you out for money. This is quite the honor. But I really don't know if I will I will make... I don't know if what I make will be any good. All I know how to make is grilled cheese. Yep. Of course it will be. Since you're making it for me. Please don't have the most generic Japanese trope of girl cannot cook. Please, good god. Mamoru's hand continued softly stroking my hair. Mamoru's large right hand gently combed through my hair. I'm sorry for writing strange all of a sudden. Those are the same! Literally mean exactly the same thing. Please, don't worry about it. There must have been something that concerned you. Something much more important than me. <laughs> That's too sweet. But don't go saying too many key things like that. Men are stupid creatures that tend to interpret everything the way they want it to be. That is very true. Yeah. Uh, I know back when I was single, there were plenty of times where I would easily overthink things like, wait, no, no, no idiot, it just means yeah. she's just asking for you, you for a pencil. It doesn't mean anything. But she touched my hand when she took it. That's Because you held the pencil weird. <laughs> I don't care how you interpret it. And you have a weird dick. <laughs> That's the, uh, the best thing to say to a teenage boy whose dick you've seen is you have a weird dick. Why have you seen his... I'm a teacher. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Well, we I... continue... <laughs> Don't worry, we'll continue with that later. <laughs> I am so concerned. With a peck on my forehead, Mamoru then stepped away. Yeah, I wonder why no company would ever sponsor this shit. Yeah, we'd like to sponsor you and all, but uh, why don't you just keep talking about, like, uh, naked children and, uh... <laughs> I'm sure you'll make someone a wonderful wife someday. Mamoru spoke with a smile as we sat, enjoying the wine after dinner. Really, I just hope I can find a husband. <laughs> That's my only goal in life. Oh, boy. <laughs> Obviously not my career. What are you talking about? You're surely in demand. Mamoru drained half of his glass. That was the end of the wine he'd brought that he'd bought that day. Giving into the pleasant alcohol buzz, I collapsed onto the bed. Are you okay? You got a little drunk. Yes, oh, just a little bit. I haven't had such good wine in a long time. I wanted to hear that my beautiful lady enjoyed it. That memory sat down on the edge of the bed. Just then the familiar pattern peeked out from the collar of his shirt. Riding my drunken boldness, I decided to ask the thing I'd been wondering about for so long. On your neck, that thing. It's a birthmark. <laughs> hmm? Is that a tattoo? 
stared intently on the pattern on his skin. Is this the first time you've seen one like this? Yes, it's a beautiful design. Did you get it just because of the style? No, it's actually a birthmark, you stupid bitch. Oh, no, not for anything so simple. A long time ago, there were a lot of things going on. How could you possibly be any more vague? <laughs> yeah. This is from back then. Sort of a... What should I call it? A stigma I carry. Mm. My burden. <laughs> a stigma. A way to brand myself. To never forget the horrible things I've done. Would you like to? Would you like me to help you up onto that cross you're putting yeah. yourself on? Memru spoke in a soft whisper, a slightly sorrowful expression on his on his face. I wondered again just what had happened to him in the, his past. What was it that gave him that sorrowful look on his face? Unconsciously, I found myself reaching my hand out towards his tattoo. My right hand touched his warm skin. You're not afraid that I have a tattoo. I'm too dumb to understand. Yep. Huh? Why would I be afraid? It's just ink woven into your skin. Never mind. Memru. Unless you're a Maori, in which case you got it probably because you ate people. Yeah. Ancient Maori. I, I, they don't do that now. <laughs> I hope not. Memru gave a smile tinged with relief. Huh. Does this hurt? No. What? How little do you know about tattoos yeah. that you just... They stop hurting after like two weeks. At max. Oh, because you were just making a face like you were in pain. That's because of the way you touch me. You don't need to, like, stab your nails into me, please. Yeah. Memory took my hand from his tattoo and clapped it on his own right rough palm. Uh, um, Mamoru? What? You're a little close. You're the one who reached a hand out at me first, weren't you? That's not an excuse. But that's just because I was worried about you. Again with the adorable things you said. Huh? Stop! <sighs> please stop! Again with the adorable things you said. Please stop. I'll call the police. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Memory yanked hard on my hand, bringing my face mere inches from his. By the way, Rivetta, do you remember when I told you a fortune the other day? Yes, with the tarot cards, right? In the end, he devoided telling me the meaning of the card of, card of my destiny. The fourth card, the Hierophant, can also represent an adult man. It can, but more often that's the Emperor. Actually, the Emperor would have been infinitely more appropriate in this case, because it represents a strong fatherly figure. You know, a grown adult man. Yeah. Uh, the a hero grown adult man trying to fuck a yeah, twenty-year-old. Yeah. A hierophant usually is like an institution. You know, like a church. An adult man. Who was it you wanted me to tell your future of love about? Myself. It's my fortune, you dumbass. Yeah. Oh. As Ma about you, you as Mamoru you fixed his fervent gaze on me, I couldn't help but look down. He was about to see right through to my thoughts again. That's the man I liked. That the man I liked was him. Rebecca. Amaru's hand gra gri grapped? Amaru's hand grappled my chin. <laughs> oh no, I gotta get the grappling rules out. Powerless to resist his strength, I raised my head. Our gazes met and I quickly averted my eyes. Why won't you look at me? B because... Tell me, Rebecca. Who is it you know? Amaru's face came even closer. His soft hair brushed against my cheek. Is it me? Yes. After hearing my honest answer, Ma Mamoru let out a long sigh. What am I going to do with you? After his face... Oh no, the music changed. After his face twisted a moment in sadness, Mamoru quickly flashed a sensual smile. You're the one that asked for this. With that, he reached his hands to for my clothes. Wah! Hey, uh, stop! 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 Right now! Stop what? Touching you here? What did you mean? Here. Stop that? Uh... Okay, no, this is the... Uh, Memoru's hands, lips, and tongue lovingly caressed my entire body. His touch quickly <laughs> incited a fiery passion, and I let out immodest groans of delight. Sounds like it's tough after all, being so overly sensitive like you are. Please stop. That is not yeah. an invitation to continue. Do you really want me to stop? Yes, that's why I'm saying please stop. Even feeling this good? You don't want me to touch you? No. No, I don't. Does that mean you don't like me? No, that's that's not what I meant. Without breaking Jesus a sweat, Memru continued vigorously driving me crazy with his touch. He was also still fully clothed, even though I was now wearing next to nothing. Memru, uh... Do you want me to stop? Without stilling his hands, Memru put his lips to my ear, stimulating me with his tongue. 
Uh, stop, I, I can't. Tell me again that you like me. Then I'll stop. Trembling violently, I quickly answered, I, I do. Do what? I want to hear you... Oh, pfft. I want to hear you say the whole thing. Say you like me in that cute voice of yours. <laughs> say you want me. Uh, I don't. I, I like don't you. Don't you want me? I never... You know I don't believe me when they say that you want to see me. Keep going. Don't. Don't you want me? Don't you want me, baby? baby. Don't I, you I want, want you. me? Oh. Well, actually, the funny thing is... That's, I'm pretty sure that song is actually, in that case, the woman is saying, no, I yeah, don't. Yeah, she is. She's saying our relationship is over and like... Get over it. Yeah. Well done. Amber's passion-filled tongue now explored the inside of my mouth. <laughs> it's passion-filled tongue, which ah. could see passion fruit out of it. Ah, ah, ah. ah. Finally released, I panted heavily from the corner of my eye, saw Amaru undressing. Rebet, come here. Love me. Guided by those words, I leapt into Mamoru's arms. Ah, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God it just fades to black. Yep. After a while, after we made love, I heard the faintest whisper. Sorry. It's, sorry for Mamoru's lips. Oh, it's over. <sighs> I, that's all I can take for today. I don't know about you. 23% likability. That's an odd. Yep. And we're halfway to, I don't think we're going to get the true ending, but I, I have ceased caring. The dual nature of light and darkness. Well, that's where we're stopping for today. Yep. Bye. Bye.